Hey everyone, Cole Karski here, Beef Outdoors, and welcome back to Tackle Talk Tuesday. The video you're watching this uh, Tackle Talk paired with is up in the corner here. It was a Monday night multi-species league video where we caught many species on one presentation. And that doesn't always happen because we like to throw a lot of variety on Monday nights. And sometimes your predator fish and your panfish just don't come on the same stuff. But they did this time, and that is the drop shot. The drop shot played a huge key for us. Even Chad picked up this exact rod that I'm uh, going to talk about, and he threw the drop shot and caught fish when I was trying something else. So we were basically passing this rod back and forth through the boat and, and taking turns hooking up on fish while the other person explored with another bait to try and get another species. So I'm going to go through the details of this drop shot and what it what I like for uh, components. So first off, I'm going to talk about the rod. The rod is a Della Bay Superior Series. It is a six foot nine, medium light, extra fast action rod. This is an incredibly sensitive rod. If you're wanting the top of the top of the line, look at the Della Bay Superior Series. It will blow you away with how lightweight they are, how comfortable they are to fish, how strong, how sensitive. It's got the recoil guides. They can do custom wraps. They just have it all going for it there. The reel that's on this rod is a 2000 size Carbon X, another lightweight reel, my favorite spinning reel, great drag system, great for line management. Now I'm gonna actually talk about the line a little bit here. I have the Euro Tackle Micro Finesse Braid and eight pounds spooled up on this. That line actually plays a huge role for me in the drop shot because first off, it's this high vis color. So I'm able to have a little bit of slack line, watch the line floating on the top of the water and watch for bites to happen. I don't have to have that taut line. I can just give a nice little slack line so you can get some great action on the bait. I can fish it with a taut line and really pay attention to getting those first, first strikes. But being able to see my line is huge. Now next, this micro finesse blade is designed to be able to cast a super far distance. I can make pitches to cover without any effort and know that I'm gonna get it there. I can also bomb cast away so when you're kind of drifting off a of cover, you wanna to get to the other side, you wanna cast off a drop off, whatever it may be. I can throw this out there and be able to cast it a long ways. It is like night and day difference between uh, other rods, or other lines, excuse me. It's pretty crazy. So on the business end of drop shotting, I like to use the Euro Tackle drop shot weights. Let me take out my groove tungsten vault here and show you. I have three different sizes that I mostly use. Uh, we're using in this one an eighth when we're out of the wind and we're still relatively shallow. shallow. And then I use a quarter a lot. This is my most common weight. And this is when I'm in a little bit more wind or a little deeper. So I have the eighth or the quarter tungsten drop shot weight. I like these because let me take one out of the package and show you. I don't have to tie it on. I can just clip it to my line. I make like a little tiny knot at the end of my line and then clip it. So that way I can lose just the weight and not the whole rig and have to retie. And next I have just my standard drop shot hook on there. I have a size two drop shot hook. That's my favorite size. I like that because it works for the predator fish and it also works for the pan fish. Now as far as baits that we're throwing on this, we're throwing two baits mainly. The first being the Euro Tackle Fat Assassin three and a half inch and we happen to be throwing black. They make a few other good colors too. Black was just what we were throwing. I really like this bait because it looks a lot like a leech. I can also take my favorite Billy Rub and this week we're using garlic and put it right in these ribs and it'll hold the scent and you'll just be able to get that bite and they'll just hold on that much longer. But this three and a half inch version caught rock bass. It caught big crappie. The crappies just loved this size of bait and we had big bonus size crappies and that was very important for us in our scoring. 
What our smallmouth came on, which is a super important fish for us because it got us that 30 points of multi, uh, multi-species bonus. It came on the Venom Tail from Biwa. This purple color was what I was using. And I just love this four inch Venom Tail for walleye and smallmouth and other finesse bass drop shot sizes. The four inch walleye and smallmouth, just killer. Also fishes on a shaky head or on a Ned rig. It performs super well, but this is my favorite kind of four inch walleye smallmouth drop shot bait. It's got a great tail on here, so it has a ton of action. You could rig it sideways if you wanted and get it more fluttering like this. I most of the time in rigging it, so it's it's like this. But as you can see, I can't even hardly hold it still on the camera. Once again. It's got a little bit of ribbing into it, so I'm hitting it with the Billy Rub. Just that extra scent, extra power to hold. The drop shot played a huge key for us. It's a really fun way to fish. It's one of my favorites. I love catching walleye, smallmouth, panfish on the drop shot. I can power drop shot with some big weights, bigger hooks, or I can get it really finesse for panfish stuff. So. Next time you're out on the water, consider a drop shot. You can fish it in super shallow water, super deep water, and you always know your bait is going to be within that strike zone you're putting on the bottom. So this is Cole Karski, Beef Outdoors. Tight lines, everyone. <laughs>